good morning friends now this class we will see theory of equations here we got two terms one is reciprocal roots and reciprocal equations so generally suppose we have equation every equation has its own roots yes if we have equation we can solve and we find out roots suppose you have roots using these roots we can form a equations we can form a equations yes e equation means we can solve we can find out roots suppose you have roots you can form a equation form a equations so this is a concept so now this class for the reciprocal roots and reciprocal equations suppose we have equations now we this equation we can solve with suppose alpha and beta are the roots of this equation suppose alpha and beta are the roots of this equation this equation suppose this roots we can form a equation suppose we take a reciprocal of this 1 by alpha and 1 by beta this is the reciprocal equation is there a reciprocal equation uh, sorry reciprocal roots of this root this is the roots of this equations then using these roots we can form a equations form a equations what is the relation between this equation and this equation this is the reciprocal of this one this is this equation is reciprocal of this equations so equation also have the relations suppose root alpha and 1 by alpha beta 1 by beta this is the equation of the given sorry this is the roots of the given equations and using this we can form we can form a equations that equation is reciprocal reciprocal of this one so this is yes now this is the concept you can understand equations we have a roots this roots we can form a equations same way equations we have a roots alpha beta this roots we can take a reciprocal 1 by alpha 1 by beta this roots are roots of the equations this equation is reciprocal reciprocal of this one yes so you see this now we will do this uh, theory parts Yes. So this is to transform an equation into another. Another means another equations. Say mm -hmm. so, to transform an equations into another equations whose roots are whose roots are the reciprocals of the roots of the given equations. So this is the first equations. First equations. This is the second equations. The first equation roots. are the exactly uh, second equation roots are the reciprocal of the first one so forming the so equation 1 equal equation 2 here we take the roots and for this we want roots this roots is nothing but reciprocal of this one reciprocal of second equation roots are nothing but the reciprocal roots of the first equation Yes, so this is a uh, this is for uh, reciprocal roots. Now we'll see little later reciprocal equations. So let alpha one, alpha two, etc., alpha n be the roots of the equation. The equations x power n plus p one. x power n minus 1 plus p2 x power n minus 2 etc plus pn equal to 0 yes so for this this a for this, these are the roots of this equation so this we have we we have x power n plus p1 x power n minus 1 plus p2 x power n minus 2 etc P n equal to you. this we can write x minus alpha one x minus alpha two etc x minus alpha n 
you know, suppose your quartered equation you can factorize say a x square plus b x plus c this is a quartered equation so alpha and beta are the roots so we may write x minus alpha into x minus beta this is quartered equation this we factorize same way this is a equations of power n n roots we get so this is factorized this so now put we put x is equal to 1 by y put x is equal to 1 by y this this will become 1 by y whole power n plus p 1 1 by y whole power n minus 1 plus p2 1 by y whole power n minus 2 etc pn this is equal to the x is replaced by 1 by y minus alpha 1 1 by y minus alpha 2 etc 1 by y minus alpha n yes now this all the x all the way all the x this all the x x are replaced by 1 by y so now here we write now one step now this is 1 by y power n plus p 1 by this is actually 1 by y power n minus 1 equal to 1 by y power n minus 1 this this is 1 by y power n into y power minus 1 this minus 1 will bring it up numerator that because y power minus 1 because plus 1 so y power n say so all the places y power n is down so this y power n is down numerator this y will come the minus 1 down minus 1 in the numerator it will become plus 1 same way p2 y square by y power n p n yes now this term we want to take y also and uh, alpha alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 2, n this also we have to take it outside say so, suppose this is n factors so if you take y outside that is we have y power n so denominator y power n will come so how do you take this outside say so, here is if you take y outside here also we want y so numerator we multiply y and denominator we, we, by y numerator denominator we multiply by y at the same time alpha also we want to take it outside so here alpha 1 we multiply here and here also so now alpha 1 and y we take it outside so here is uh, y went outside numerator alpha 1 went out outside denominator 1 by alpha 1 minus this is y outside this alpha 1 outside here is y so this the term will become like this alpha 1 by y into 1 minus 1 by alpha 1 minus y so same way every factors we, we take alpha 1 here alpha 2 here alpha n so in this way alpha 1 from first alpha 2 from second etc from last we take alpha n at the same time here y here y here y totally we get y power n so remaining like this all the factors it has like, like this 1 by alpha 1 minus y then 1 by alpha 2 minus y etc 1 by alpha oh sorry 1 by 1. 1 by alpha n minus y so it will become so, like this so now throughout this we multiply by multiply by y power n multiply by y power n throughout the time so what we have here is 1 here is 1 here is 1 plus p1 y 
plus p2 y square etc plus here is p n yes here is p n y power n so here suppose previous term what will be the previous term p n minus 1 y power 1 will come uh, y, say 1 to n, n sorry n minus 1 will come yes suppose this previous term p n minus 1 1 by y power n minus n minus 1 the previous term is in the this last term last before this term is like this so this is p n minus 1 1 by y power n into y power minus n minus 1 if you multiply by y power n this y power n uh, if you multiply y power n this is cancelled now this will come up p n minus 1 y power n minus 1 so this is the last before term so this is uh, p n minus 1 term is uh, the p n minus 1 into y power n minus 1 next term p power n y power n just one increase that is here this, this is the last term p n y power n previous term is p n minus 1 y n minus 1 this is now this y power n is cancelled with since we multiply y power n so remaining right hand side alpha 1 into alpha 2 etc alpha n to 1 by alpha 1 minus y 1 by alpha 2 minus y etc 1 by alpha n minus y this is 1 r p n y power n plus p n minus 1 y power n minus 1 etc p 2 y square plus p 1 y plus 1 equal to 0 since this is a, this is a factors and this is a alpha 1 alpha 2 this product is a constant it's a factors so this uh, this equation is equal to 0 these are the roots 1 by alpha 1 1 by alpha 2 etc 1 by alpha n are the roots of the equation roots of the equations yes these are the roots reciprocal of the given roots this is the equations reciprocal of this one yes this is the reciprocal roots alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha n be the roots of these equations then 1 by alpha 1 1 by alpha 2 1 by alpha n are the roots of here the equ equations yes. yes if an equation remains unaltered remains unaltered then x is changed into its reciprocal that is x is changed into 1 by x it is called a reciprocal equation yes the given equation is remain unaltered when x is changed into its reciprocal suppose x is replaced by 1 by x the equ equation is remaining the same it is called uh, reciprocal equation yes the, Suppose we assume x power n plus p1 x power n minus 1 plus p2 x power n minus 2 etc. p n minus 1 x plus p n equal to 0 be a equations. Uh, this is a reciprocal equations. Reciprocal equations. Suppose this x is replaced by 1 by x. x is replaced by 1 by x. This will become 1 by x power n plus p1 1 by x power n minus 1 
plus p2 1 by x power n minus 2 etc plus p n minus 1 1 by x 1 by x plus p n equal to 0. So here we we multiply by x power n multiply by x power n yes this is what so here is same way 1 by x power n minus 1 equal to 1 by x power n into x power minus 1 this x power minus 1 will go up as a plus 1 x power 1 by x power n so each term here minus will go up here minus 2 will go to numerator yes here is so p2 1 by x power n minus 2 here is minus 1 will go sorry plus 1 yes yes we multiply x power n this is 1 here is p1 here only x x remaining already I explained here x power n into x power minus 1 x power n is cancelled down x power minus 1 will come up same way p2 x power 2 etc this term we will see here now p n minus 1 1 by x if you multiply here x power n so this into x power n this is p n minus 1 1 by x into x power n minus 1 plus 1 we write like this so this is p n minus 1 1 by x into x power n minus 1 into x power 1 this x and this x cancel remaining here x, x power n minus 1 so p n minus 1 into x power n minus 1 plus p n x power n equal to 0 p n x power n equal to 0 next we divide by p power n next we divide by sorry not p power n p n uh, yes so we have 1 by p n plus p 1 by p n x plus p 2 x square by p n etc p n minus 1 by p n x power n minus 1 plus here p n here p n cancel only x power n equal to 0 yes now now we see that consider some cases p n minus 1 by all the way down we got p n p n yes suppose p 1 by p n equal to now we Come, compare this equation with compare this equation with say so here is this first equations this equations now we compare this and this now we take it this is 1 and this is so we have 2 if you compare these two Now we compare these two just to the corresponding co corresponding terms of x. See for example, here is uh, x power n minus 1, x power n, x power 1, 1, 1, that is no problem, x power n minus 1, here x power n minus 1, this is p1, here is p n minus 1 by p n equal to p1. Yes. Here x power n minus 2, here we come. Uh, just the previous term of this one that is here is p n minus 2 by p n equal to p2 etc here is x power n minus 1 that is over here is x here is x p 1 by p n equal to p n minus 1 
and the constant term last term 1 by Pn equal to 1 by uh, Pn 1 by Pn equal to Pn say 1 by Pn equal to Pn yeah. so now if you take these two Pn square equal to 1 Pn equal to taking square root plus or minus 1 yes so now here Pn equal to plus or minus 1 now we take Pn as plus 1 and Pn as minus 1 if you split two cases suppose we assume Pn equal to 1 suppose we assume Pn equal to 1 Pn equal to 1 what will happen Pn this all denominator is 1 so Pn minus 1 equal to P1 Pn minus 2 equal to yes that, that is equal to P2 same way Pn minus 3 equal to P3 etc P1 equal to N minus 1 Pn minus 1 is P1 P1 is Pn minus 1 Pn minus 1 See, this equation it will become this and this coefficient will be same this coefficient will be same p1 and pn minus 1 same or here pn minus 1 p1 is same say this way this equation will become like this say for example i give one sum x power 5 plus 4 x power 4 plus 3 x cube plus 3x square plus 4x plus 1 equal to 0 p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 this, this case this equal so it will become like this so this case so a, in this case the coefficients of the terms equidistant from the end equidistant from say this is second term this is also second term this is third term this is also from third term so term equidistant from the beginning and the end are equal in magnitude and have the same sign so in this case sign is same and magnitude the number also same so equals same sign and same number uh, yes so if you split into two case here three times, here three times, one, four, three, from here, one, four, three, here this way, here this way. So in this case, uh, x plus one is a factor. In this case, x plus one is a factor. x plus one is a factor. Yeah. So, so this is the first case with Pn equal to plus one. Second case, Pn equal to minus one. In this case, say here P, all here sign change. P n minus one equal to minus P one. P n minus two equal to minus P two, etc. P one equal to minus P n minus one. Yes. So in this case, point is the same, but sign is different. Say. In this case, the terms equidistant from the beginning, say for uh, now I give one sum, uh, equidistant from the beginning at the same time, they are equal in magnitude but opposite sign. They are in opposite sign. Say I give one example for this. Uh, 6x raised to 5, 6x raised to 5, minus x raised to 4, mi minus 43x cube plus 43 x square plus x minus x equal to 0. So here is also you have split into two times. Here, here. See this way and this way. Plus 6, here minus 6. Here minus, here plus. Here minus, here plus. So in this way, here the magnitude is same but sign is different. Sign is different. In this case, x minus 1, x minus 1 is a factor. x minus 1 is a factor. So, same, but power is odd, odd power. 
odd power at the same time the sign is somewhat uh, changed plus there is minus here is minus there is plus in this way opposite sign or unlike sign unlike sign the sign is unlike and and same magnitude and same magnitude in this case x minus 1 is a factor yes yes this is this for reciprocal equation case 1 case 2 yes yes we see the conclusion reciprocal equation of r degree with unlike sign x minus 1 is a factor r degree unlike sign uh, unlike sign is one side plus another side is minus like this just told reciprocal equation of r degree with like signs x power 4 here plus means other side the corresponding term is the same sign that is in this case x plus 1 is a factor so like like sign x plus 1 is a factor unlike sign x minus 1 is a factor third case reciprocal equations of even degree with unlike signs and there is no mid term so no middle term in this case x square minus 1 is a factor yes so three things unlike odd odd degree unlike sign x minus 1 is a factor odd degree like sign x plus 1 is a factor and given degree unlike signs uh, no middle term in this case x square minus 1 is a factor in the next video i will give you the uh, sums for this three models thank you for watching this video